Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'm going to create several kinds of DIY witchy decor for my Ostara altar and then I'll give you an altar tour to show you how it all comes together. Let's do some magical crafting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an unfinished wooden boat into a crystal display, paint some eggs and candle holders, make some eggshell candles, and create a nest filled with painted eggs. I'm creating all of this witchy decor from my Ostara altar, and I'll give you a tour of that as well. If you enjoy this kind of witchy crafting content, kindly leave a like on this video. Because this is a long video with several projects, I'll leave timestamps to each chapter below. I will also leave links to all of the materials I used in these magical crafts. However, most of the items on my altar were sourced over the years from thrift stores, so I'm unable to put links to those items. I'm starting with an unfinished wooden boat and several pastel colored acrylic paints. It occurred to me that this item is an inexpensive and easy way to create a holiday themed crystal display on my altar. Instead of purchasing a more expensive plain display, I decided to opt for a less expensive item that I can paint to match any theme I like. For Ostara, I've decided to create a pastel rainbow ombre with a bit of a painterly effect on this display. Once the acrylic paint is dry, an optional step is to give it a protective coat of varnish or Mod Podge to seal it. You can go for gloss or matte, whichever matches your decor. The next project is painted candle holders and egg holders. I wanted some miniature candle holders that would fit the small chime candles that I like to use and I thought that these little unfinished wooden ones would be perfect. I simply painted them with my pastel paints and then added a coat of gloss Mod Podge. I did the same process with these wooden egg holders. I wanted to make matching holders for candles made out of emptied and cleaned out eggshells. So I painted them to match the candle holders and added a gloss coat of Mod Podge. When the Mod Podge was dry, I went back in with a chalk paint pen in white to add a few dots and line details to each one.
The next step was to create candles inside of some empty and clean eggshells. You can melt beeswax or soy wax and add a wick and let it cool. Another option is to slip some tea light candles out of their holders and melt the wax. It takes about five tea lights to fill three eggshells. I recommend using new candle wicks, as the ones that come inside the tea light candles are likely going to be much too short and will become submerged in the wax. When doing this magical craft at home, always use real eggshells and always use an egg holder. Never make a candle inside of a plastic egg or burn one in an unsafe environment. The third and final project was to create a nest of painted eggs for my altar. I started with a dozen small wooden eggs and four acrylic paint colors, pale blue, aqua blue, pale yellow, and brown. I painted all of the eggs blue and yellow. Some required multiple coats as there was no way to set them down to dry without some of the paint wiping off. Once all of the eggs were dry, it was time to make them look speckled. I used a watered-down brown paint. You may wish to test your spatter technique on a piece of paper before speckling the eggs. I used a relatively stiff paintbrush on my finger to make a fine spatter of paint. I dried one side, flipped the eggs over, and did the same process again to make sure the eggs looked uniform. I'm creating the nest inside of a small crystal dish. I'm starting with some reindeer moss and feathers, and then my painted eggs. It took a bit of arranging. I eventually decided the large feather was much too large and I cut it down to a more manageable size. I'm really happy with the way my final nest turned out. Now the last step is to place it onto the altar and give you a tour of my sacred space. Apologies in advance for the shaky footage. I'm still learning how to film by hand. Over the altar is the Ostara wreath I made in another video, and I will link to that magical craft below. Here is how the crystal display came out. I filled it with opalite, fluorite, amethyst, and rose quartz, citrine, and sunstone. I've placed a sweet offering of jelly beans on the altar. I've placed some rosebuds on my altar as well. And here is the nest that I made, in a place of prominence in the front and center. I also have another nest behind it. I placed three turquoise beads in the nest to act as eggs.
And this is a ceramic bunny basket that I filled with representations of the flowers of spring. Thank you for joining me on this magical crafting journey. If you enjoy this kind of witchy DIY content, kindly leave a like on this video. I hope you all have a blessed Ostara season filled with renewal and fertility. May your life be filled with abundance and have a blessed spring equinox.